Hello, I'm Ajumana, and welcome to episode 3 of the Honey Block Season 2 Civil War. So this is going to be probably the last episode before the war starts, which is quite exciting. It means we've got a lot of preparation to do, because after this, pretty much as soon as I finish making this and releasing this episode, I'm going to be doing my mock exams, and then as soon as they've finished, it is time for war. So a bit of a, bit of a disadvantage to anyone who doesn't do mocks. <coughs> we'll puff. So um, at the moment, I've got... Wugglepuff and Fadzu on call and I've got Fadzu on call because he has just hooked onto the server as you can see from his stylish stone tools but I'm going to take him to the base and then when we're at the base I'm going to get him some decent kit and we'll see what we're going to do in today's episode. Right this might be one of the most chaotic starts to the episode we've ever had but um, <clears throat> the base that we put just under our old base which wasn't very well hidden with our villages in has been found so we're <clears throat> off camera because I thought it'd be pretty boring to watch. I spent a couple of hours moving all the villagers. Honestly, I'm not moving them again. If this base gets found, that's it. This is our final new bunker. It's well hidden. It's a fair way away. I mean, there's no point in me saying how far away it is because it's, it'll just be a bluff anyway for any of the other team who are watching. But it's a decent way away. And what I thought I'd start off with, we haven't yet in this series, I'm pretty sure, had a replay time lapse because something's always gone wrong with them. And I'd quite like to have one. We are going to jump into a replay mod time lapse because what we could do with doing is separate off some of the villagers into like sort of a breeding area so that we always have them. And then I'd really like to get everyone sorted into their station, see if we can get every book, which might take quite a while. So there'll be a lot of breeding, a lot of trading. And also throughout that, I'd like to move the stuff from the old bunker because down here, because down here is all our storage. But uh, yeah. We haven't brought any of it over, including a bed, so there's going to be a bit of a villager trading in the background. I'll be doing some moving of things. Basically a big sort out because our base got found, but this should be the last time we have to move, so um, let's go. quite a long time but I finally got this place all nice I've labeled all the villagers for ease they're all set up in their correct places we've got well I mean we need to work on our amount of emeralds I've been trading them away to try and level people up I have to say I've never found a more useful tool for transferring villagers than the water bucket look at that ease Ease in its slot. It was so like I've always tried to use boats and whatnot, but that was so easy. The only book I can't seem to get, I've tried on like five different villages now and then given up because I got something else. Is on breaking three. So this guy right here. Let's just let's just maybe because I'm recording. No, okay. Yeah, um, I've kept two farmers so we can keep getting more villagers. Uh, so this place is pretty much fully decorated. I haven't decorated down here yet. But I don't know if you saw in the time maps, I did do a bit of work getting some farms set up, getting in some sugar cane, not as big as the old ones, nether wart, not as big as the old ones, but they'll do. In terms of valuables, uh, we're missing a few diamonds because I've started work 
on making kits because, well, I say started work. I've made some armor and tools and got two mending books. But that is going to be our our behind the scenes project is going to be to get as many maxed out kits with the help of a few other people so that we are totally ready for when we die in the war because you have two lives so it's always how did he what okay i'll sort that out later right the next thing for me to do on camera well off camera i'd like to carry on trying to get all the books necessary but i don't just want to be trading the whole time right i think it's time that we got a plan for this episode because at the moment we sort of grinded some nice gear and sorted out the villages, but that, you know, I don't want to just grind the whole time, so I have a plan, and my plan is this, and this is going to sound quite crazy, but I intend to build a castle in the sky. Woohoo! I want this to be our defendable position, because obviously we'll have all our good stuff in our bunker, but if we have to give away base coordinates, we might have to give up the bunker anyway. <clears throat> and the bunker is not very defendable because it's underground and there is no way I'm moving all the villagers again but I think it would make some cool content to defend our position from a floating castle obviously they have elytra and we do not so that might be another thing to do this episode go end busting but I think it's time we had some sort of proper base that we can battle from <clears throat> I'm not sure what it's going to be made from yet I'm obviously considering deep slate because we have loads of that and it probably will be made of deep sight, but uh, let's head back and scout out a place. I don't want it to be too close to the bunker, because then they'll know where the bunker is. I'm just going to grab a bit of dirt, because I'm going to pillar up quite high, and I reckon we'll pretty much go from just on the edge of this crater and see if we can build from there. So if I start... I mean, it doesn't really matter because we can always move it, but about here, and we'll see how high we're going to build this. I reckon this is probably high enough. I mean, <clears throat> we don't want it to be excessively high, but maybe there? So, in terms of elytra, we're going to have to think of multiple defences. So, I thought for a start, if we have dripstone built all along the edges, then trying to land on it will be a bit difficult. So, that could be one of the many things we can do. To defend against elytra but for now let's just get about building and are we going to replay i mean we did one of the villagers so probably not so i'll just do little updates and we'll see how we get along okay we're going to start with what i think is like a third awkwardly 13 by 12 square i don't know if, honestly if i want to make it massive i think this might be big enough when i'm in a castle I mean just like some kind of floating base. I can make it look a bit castle-y, like maybe add some mini turrets and stuff, but <laughs> to be honest, I'm still not, still not really sure what the purpose of this is. You know, the more I build, the more I think we absolutely have to get a light through this episode. Like, imagine just being able to just go boop, and just glide off, and how much quicker it would be for to get from the old base to the new base. So my plans for the little turrets are literally just to have little nine, little three by three squares with like a one block ladder going in. So let's even get those done and maybe some walls. All right, I've done pretty much everything I can do with these materials. So let's head down. I, I mean, honestly, is is I don't expect it to look good. I just want to see what it looks like from the ground. If I make, if I don't make this, I will cry. Phew. I mean, well, to be fair, yeah, I like it. I like how it looks. I think it looks quite cool. We're going to have to add a row for a shooting out of and stuff. I especially like the deep slate spikes on the top. Like, that looks properly... To be fair, it looks a bit menacing. I kind of feel like we're the bad guys. <laughs> I like it a lot. Alright, we'll get that finished. But next up, let's see if we can get some people on. See if we can go grab some elytra. Because it's very, very... <laughs> Very late in the game to be going and busted. Okay, I don't think Reese is gonna make it because he's uh, he's got some stuff on this week. He's quite he's a busy man. But uh, Jammy was on before and Cyber were on before, so we're not too low on members. So the first thing we need to do if we're gonna do end busting is get a new portal, and to do that we need to respawn the dragon. And I believe am I am I doing it wrong? I hope I'm not doing it wrong because then I'll have to. 
Yes. Right, run. Right, let's do this in about five. Oh, I don't have any food. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's do this in about five seconds. Yes. Okay. We're here. We're at a totally new place. So I'm just going to use my lovely boat to get a few ender pearls and then we can be on our way. I've walked about 10 blocks since the recording. If this has an end chip, I'll be in awe, but I presume it does not. No. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, James was walking for ages to find one of these. Oh my gosh. All right, let's grab the elytra. And then we'll probably head back. We might have a little look. But I don't think there's much else we need other than Elytra. We should probably get some Elytra for Risa. That would be a good edit. <laughs> it was raided. It was... It was raided. So... So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back and go... And find the end pole that actually was the one I should have gone through. So after finding like five or six raided cities and walking like thousands of blocks, probably in a circle, I finally, finally, finally found an unraided end city. So we have our elytra that are looking very snazzy with our lovely cape. And, okay, right, this is a bit weird to explain because this episode is in a very strange order. Because I'm now going to... This episode is in a very strange order because I'm now going to hand back over to past Midget Miner. Who is going to take you through everything I did before end busting. Because I was waiting quite a while to end bust. And while I waited to see if Reese was going to come, I actually built... Three very important farms. And I did some other shenanigans as well. So I will hand you over to past Midget Miner. So because of like busyness in real life, you guys will already know that I released a short when I would normally release the next episode. So this will be a week late because of stuff in real life. Because of that same stuff, it will actually be like two or three days before I can go M busting with Reese. Two or three in real life days. So I put my time to good use. And I've finally constructed the Enderman farm. However, I kind of died in the process. So, um, yeah, we're basically going to be grinding our stuff back while we wait for Reese to be able to come and do some end busting. There we go. Yeah, a lovely close up of my face. So the first thing we're going to look at is a couple of farms I built while I was waiting to end bust, which were an Enderman farm and a gunpowder farm. So, because of, like, busyness in real life, you guys will already know that I released a short when I would normally release the next episode, so this will be a week late, because of stuff in real life. Because of that same stuff, it will actually be, like, two or three days before I can go end busting with Reese, two or three in real life days. So I put my time to good use, and I've finally constructed the Enderman farm. However, I kind of died in the process, so, um, yeah, we're basically going to be grinding our stuff back while we wait for Reese. To be able to come and do some end busting. Everything I've gathered for the creeper farm. So I'm just going to check the list because I think there's like maybe f oh yeah oh I know what we need now because this farm runs on snow golems which means we got to go get pumpkins and snow. Oh my gosh there's no way so me and you'll you'll have seen a, a, a lot of dogs at the base right and they all belong to um to Bambas, who's another member of the team. Bro, this guy better not. Yeah, get bad. They all belong to Bambas. So, me and Bambas went out to get them together. Oh no, that's not enough pumpkins. Oh, I hope there's some more at the village. Uh, we all went to get them. We went to get them together, right? But I jumped through this lake and they were stuck on the other side and they wouldn't teleport to me. I think I went out of render or something like that. <laughs> and they have returned and they have returned in vast numbers <laughs> so that's a nice addition so i have the snow and the pumpkins which we can carve but i'm just the video says i need scaffolding and i normally don't like to leave anything out if it's in the list but i oh, i don't know i feel like they wouldn't just say it if it's just for temporary blocks so i'm gonna what skip forward in the video a little bit see what scaffolding needs for is needed for it's just such a pain to get okay we have everything the scaffolding was just for an afk pillar which we can always sort out with something else um so for some of you this will be a bit of a throwback to my first gunpowder farm because we're going to be using a bit of netherite but obviously silly since we don't have shulkers because this is after the embusting would have been useful to get shulkers before 
we're going to have to go and put a chest there, put all these blocks in, and then come back and get the rest of the stuff. Right, we have a spot in the deep ocean. I would like to build a portal, maybe on that island, but let's go back and get the rest of the stuff. Okay, portal set up. Let's get building, and you know what? Let's time up it. Let's go. Well, as usual, I think that cut off about halfway through, but we do have lots and lots of TNT. So, what we're going to do is head to the nether, see if we can get some ancient debris. I have already been with about a stack, and we managed to get seven pieces, I think. Yeah, because we used four. Let's just see, I left it over K for goodness sake. I left it AFK for, I think, about three hours or something. So, I want to see... If it's gathered any more gunpowder, but to be honest, we really don't have the sand to keep up with anymore. So we'll probably just use this TNT here. So we'll get the gunpowder possibly on the way back from the nether. So let's see if we can get a little bit more netherite. And then, well, it'll be the end of the video for you, but it'll be time for me to go end busting. It's, it's a weird episode. This may be slow going. It's um, over a stack down and we have, we have three. I mean, to be fair, I haven't gone the full length yet. Let's see. You know what? Let's have a quick look. Right, let's go in the other direction. See if we get any better. There is definitely, definitely a better side for this. And I'm not sure what the reason is. But this side is just absolutely abundant in ancient debris. And the second you cross over there, I got like one piece. I used like the same TNT, same amount of TNT rather, on each side. And on that side, I kept getting like one. And on this side, keep getting a decent amount. So let's total it up. Okay, so we finish with 13 ancient debris. Now in real life, I'm going to go and go M busted. But you've already seen that part of the episode because it came in a bit of a weird order. So, because of availability and stuff like that. So, I'm going to record an outro now, which feels weird because I'm about to record the rest of the video. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been quite a cluttered one and we have done... We have got a serious, serious, like from the start of the episode, we've come a very, very long way. So, I'm happy with the amount of progress we've got done. We still need to do a little bit more for preparation. I said this might be the last, but I imagine the next episode will be the last one before the war, because it is now three weeks until my mock exams begin. So yeah, there'll probably be only one more episode before the war, and then it will begin. So we need to make sure we're fully ready fully equipped you need to make sure everyone in the team has lots of good gear but thank you so much for watching sorry it's been later than the last one and i will catch you in the next one see ya